I have a new palette to try out. I can't wait to test it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you stick around and might even see some cute puppies. Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sheena and makeup is light therapy for me. Today we're gonna be testing some new makeup and I have a little friend and another little friend <laughs> that are here to help me out. This is Star and this is Angel and yeah. So let's talk about this palette, Alien Universe. I'll be honest, when I first ordered this palette, I was a little upset because I didn't realize it was a pre-order and it took much longer to get here than I was expecting it to. But now that it's here, it is so, so pretty and I cannot wait to dive into it. So I'm gonna put some swatches and a picture of and some clips of the palette up on the screen and talk about it. Now this is from Black Mossy Cosmetics. It's Alien Universe. It is a nine pan palette. It has five mattes and four shimmer slash duochromes. And I can't wait to just dive into it. So let me see if this little puppy is gonna let me put her down. Maybe she'll go play with Angel. Angel's made herself comfortable in my lap though, so I doubt Angel leaves. And we're gonna get started. Now, I do have some new makeup other than just the palette that I'm gonna be testing out today. I did pick up the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer and I have been wanting to try this out ever since it first came out, so I'm super excited to give it a try. I love the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm super excited to try out the liquid version. So, I'm trying to decide if I need to just put it where my pores are. Like, or if I need to put it all over my face because... With the regular one, I only put it where my big pores are. So it did seem to do a good job of blurring my pores. So I'm just going to put it on my face right there and leave it at that. I'm going to let that dry. It says to let it dry for 30 seconds. I'm going to let it dry for probably about 30 seconds or longer. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with it as well. I love using the Poreless Putty Grime Primer and the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer together. It just kinda helps my makeup stay in place and last longer. Being in the hot and humid state of Alabama, it makes it so that it just doesn't melt as fast. And I really like that about this. And I always let this, let the Power Grip Primer dry as well. So I also picked up the e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener because I deal with pretty bad dark circles under my, under my eyes, especially this one. I think it's probably related to allergies because I feel like if it if that eye could drain it might not be as bad but I picked this up and I'm gonna put it on neck and I'm just gonna kind of blend it out with my finger and now I'm gonna go in with my BB cream that I have been using. Spread it out all over my face. I love how this BB cream looks. I think it looks so good. I forgot to get a ponytail holder and pull my hair back. And I don't have one laying around right here. <laughs> that would be my look. Oh well, I'm gonna put some concealer on. Okay, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes in the color 1. And I just realized, 
Okay, I have this other under eye powder that I have forgotten that I need to use as well. So I decided I would use it today instead of my pink under eye brightening powder. Clean my brush. I'll have to show y'all. Maybe I'll do it on Instagram or a short or something. But I got this brush cleaner for my birthday and it is amazing i absolutely love it okay so i have the beauty bakery flower setting powder and i've never used it so i decided that i would use it in this video it's in the color translucent <laughs> and when i opened it the little plastic thing came up too so i'm not sure if the plastic thing is going to work on it or not but i'm trying to doesn't look like it's going to so I'm going to take that out for now and then just get a little bit on my brush tap it out just have it like that and put some on my forehead and then I actually forgot that I'm using a cream blush so let me I forgot to tap it out okay so I have this cream blush from Kylie cosmetics it came in a Valentine's collection and I just never used it it is make him blush it's in a heart shape it's super cute so I'm just going to put some on my cheeks I always have a hard time with cream products showing up after I powder my face so I'm gonna kind of put this on heavy and hopefully after I blend it out and then put it on it'll still show I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender I will tell you cream products are not exactly my friend I'm still getting adjusted to them but I mean this seems to be blending out pretty well I do have a palette from Kylie Cosmetics that has some cream and some powder products in it and I really like it I feel like this side could use a little more color I feel like once I set it you're not gonna be able to see it I feel like that side's probably good that looks good I think once I set it it'll be perfect because it's not like overly but it's looking good I really like the little container that's super cute <clears throat> okay I'm gonna dust off this under my eyes and then set the remainder of my face remembering to tap off my brush this time since my little thing didn't work I hope. I'm gonna have to keep using this powder but I don't think it's that bad. I think it might be pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to use L'Oreal Infallible. This isn't anything new. I've been using this for a while now. I just didn't have a new bronzer, so yeah. And last, I'm just going to use my Becca Highlight. I have like so much pan in it. I'm so proud of myself. Love it. Wish I could get all my highlights in that size because I like love that they just fit perfect in my drawer. Okay, I'm going to set my face. Today, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I think I've kind of already mapped out my plan for this palette. I'm gonna start out with this pink right here. Okay, after using that pink, I'm gonna use this purple down here. Sorry. 
sorry if you can hear my dog's toy. She is having fun playing and I'm not going to take it from her. So next I'm going to use, I'm trying to decide if I want to use a glitter glue or if I just want to spray it with setting spray. I think I'm just going to spray it with setting spray today and then seeing how it comes out. If it doesn't come out as much as I would, as good as I would want it to, then next time I use it, I'll use a glitter glue. But I'm going to use this shade right here. And there aren't any shades on the box or on the palette. And I kind of like that because I don't ever want to mix my shades, like take them out because trying to remember where they go and getting them back in with the right shade, that could be a pain. And I know not all shades have the names on the back of the pans. So I just sprayed my brush and I'm going to put this out here on the outer portion of my eye. And now I'm going to use this pink shimmer up here. They are very creamy, which I really like that. I just sometimes feel like shadows can be too creamy. And I don't feel like hers are too creamy. I'm putting it on the inner half of my eye. No, this shade might be a little too creamy because it's hard to pick up it doesn't want to pick up I don't use my finger in my shadows I just don't like to do that a lot of times I'll have long nails on and if I have long nails I don't want to dig my nail into my um, shadow <coughs> that looks so good okay and last for an inner corner highlight I'm going to use this shade right down here and this shade is different than the other ones the texture is which I'm not complaining I kind of like that um, kind of comes out like a um, like a matte but I know it's not I'm gonna put on some mascara, put on a lippy, and I'll be back and we'll talk about this palette. Okay, so this is the final look, and I really like how it turned out. I think it's really, really pretty, and I look forward to using this palette again. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, and you to see more videos of testing new make makeup, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.